Oh, uh, Ronnie Wood from the Ditma section of the Flatbush neighborhood, Brooklyn, and the city of New York. It's Sunday, the sixth day of October, two thousand and twenty-four, and well, I'm uh, I'm I'm about ready to get on the Acela for five to go to Washington D.C. And uh, well, I'm here at the Daniel Patrick Moynihan Train Pavilion, and uh, well, I'm just making me a little. Uh, Souvenir video. These annoying, horrible, giant mess of it. Not a sign, yeah. Because I think by the time I come back, they won't be here like this anymore. I don't think so. They don't serve a purpose. They're not there to sell anything. So that means they're there for another purpose. And well, then we don't need to talk about it. I think Governor Hochul and Eric will just take care of it. So I just want to. Just for good old times, you know? Old Lang Syne or something, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Well, the one with the aluminum looking is really intense. Yeah, I would rather see uplifting things of New York if nothing else. I don't think these advertisers need to be in here. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's not up to me, but you know. But you could just see. Well, this way I don't forget. Oh, yeah, look at that. Slow walkers. X. You know what? It's subtle. It took me a long. It took me quite a while to realize it myself. Yeah, it did. Probably three years out of five. Yeah, to realize it. Did. Yeah. Like there, walking on that thing. A child doesn't walk on the top of a balcony like that. See, it's it's there. It's constant. It's it's all. It's everywhere. It took me, I've been here five years, it took me at least three to even notice it. Yeah. And all these shots with their backs to you all the time. That's no advertising. No, it's not. It's just not. They're walking out the door. I mean, look at how it's terrible. I mean, you don't notice it, but it is affecting you. It is. And it's intentional. There, somebody just passed out on a couch. I'm telling you the truth. It's, it's, it took me three years to even start noticing it. And then little by little. And then I got really mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, that's pleasant looking. Myself. Well, what the hell is myself advertising? You see what I'm saying? See this? That's not, a, that's people like little automatons going, who knows? I mean, see, it's, it's, it's subversive. It's psychological torture is what it is, little by little, because it's everywhere. On the trains, on the street, in here. It's not an accident. It's not, I don't know who knows, but that's not important. No investigation required. Just turn it off, that's all. Stop it. Just turn it off. They will. Yeah, oh, they will, all right. Yeah. Whoever's paying for it, they'll have to. Or they'll go out of business because nobody's going to... Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you. It's, I'm telling you the truth. I mean, I came here in 2019. I didn't notice it till a year or so ago. Yeah. Well, it's terrible, actually. It is terrible. It's everywhere. Everywhere. Like, over there, doesn't that look like children in that ad? Well, why do you have children? Isn't that exploitation of children then? Isn't it? Are they adults? I don't know. I mean, you know, but I shouldn't have to wonder. You know what I'm saying? Because it's annoying to have to ask. <laughs> what happened to Madison Avenue advertisers? Yeah, this is just... That too. Yeah, looks like she could be drowning, you know? That's not pleasant. It's not. It isn't. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. You don't notice it. I didn't either. And once I did, then I saw it everywhere. Yeah, like Savoir Faire. It's on the bus, it's on the train, it's on the streets, it's in the... Si it's, it's everywhere. It's not an accident, but it's not about who did it. It's just turn it off, that's all. 
That's all. It's probably automated. Maybe nobody even checks what's going up, you know? Probably. That'd be my guess. It's not important to ask why something, just turn it off. That's all. That's all. Book of the month. I mean, it's, uh, that's not advertising anything. <laughs> my God. You know what? As a, I'm just making a bit. Now that's nice, you know, I guess. But, well, yeah, I'm, oh God, you know, yeah. Makes me crazy, actually. It does. It does. I mean, it's, uh, it is, actually. It absolutely is. Yeah. That especially. So I'm making a video of it. So I can have a record. I don't even know what the brand is. I mean, I, I have no idea. What is, I mean, so I, like, I want to see that. No, there's enough suffering in the world without seeing that. I mean, come on. Somebody's got to be accountable for this. It, I'm sure it's automatic. You just put it in, it goes up. Well, that's irresponsible. This building belongs to the people. Well, tax dollars paid for this. This isn't here. They don't even have to, they don't even have a right, they don't have a right to advertise in here. They do not. You can have standards. There should be a person that checks, a person. I'm sure they don't. Well, there's people who need jobs, so. Right there. Would you let your child do that? No, you wouldn't. It's insidious. On purpose. It'll be easy enough to figure out who and where it is because it's all digital, you can't hide. You know that. Yeah. I just, yeah. Oh my God. It's just so terrible. Oh God, you know. That's right. Eric, if you want to keep your job to next November, clean things up immediately. We, yeah. We'll worry about who and what later. We have more important things to worry about. I know who they are. Academics and teachers and people working from home who don't want to go back to work because they're busy getting double paid. Who doing what? Who knows? Well, we know who all those people are too. Yeah, of course. You'd be shocked at how many video presentations I've seen from people right in New York. Yeah, you'd be shocked. Feckless is what it's called. Being feckless. Yeah, no more. Not that I have anything to do with it, but somebody has to say it. If you see something, say something, right? Well, I'm seeing it right up there, so I'm saying something. That's all. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just, oh, God, I can't stand it. I, that's the oh boy I tell you what. I can't wait Expedia you're gonna go out of business yeah you will you'll be all done of course you're gonna be done yeah absolutely verbo too they don't make anything they don't add to the economy they just harass you and take your money and trick you, that's all. Oh, but never mind. Well, maybe that's long enough. Yeah, maybe. Oh, no. 
Well, see, some books going to go oh, there. Well, that's what I need to do. Yeah, well, I don't know the timing, but um, well, the books are going to come up, and it's going to have the names of the authors on the books that come up, so they have a responsibility, too. They do, actually. Of course they do. Their names on it, so they have a responsibility. Of course, they can be held to account as well. Of course. Absolutely. I don't have a book, but if my name was on a book, I'd want to know where it was going to be put up somewhere. Yeah. Attention, Amtrak passengers. That's all. Oh, my God. I got to get 